Hello and welcome to Zach103 TV and today we're racing Phoenix because um, I just feel like it. We're going to do 78 laps and start on pole, start on 24 fan. Um, made the championship for in 2022. Um, it's really the only stack I can think of on the top of my head. And there's more cars than, that than you're seeing because drawing distance. So my game don't crash every time we run a race, so. Oh, I got David Don in the booth with us today. Um, you got any first thoughts? I know you haven't been here in a while, so I don't expect you to know too much, but you got uh, any initial thoughts? Depending, depending on the setup, if it's realistic, I'm not expecting a damn thing because it's Phoenix. Yeah, that's, that's about to be expected, so whatever happens, happens. Um... I did do tests, so if there's a bunch of wrecks, uh, don't look at me. But, uh, yep, uh, 324 for you to start and pull. Um, Sam Oskin, still points leader. 45 point gap between him and second right now. He's got a pretty giant points leader right now. Um, XO, second in standings, who's actually starting second. And as far as I'm aware, I don't think it is possible for EXO to take that points leader, at really anyone at this point. But how, um, many, how many races we got left in the season? Shoot, that is a good question. I don't, I don't remember the points, the playoff format. Or so we have 36 season. races. There's no playoff format. It's full season points. Okay. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and uh, get the command for the engines, and I'll, then we'll <coughs> figure out how many races we got left. All right, so this is race 10, so we have 30, oh, it's 35 race season, so um, we have about um, 25 races left after this one's done. Something like that. You're mentioning the points gap between first and second is 45. Uh, second and on from at least, I don't know, the top, second to fifth, second to, uh, and I don't know, it was actually pretty close together. Yep, better green here. Do you want to call the green? Uh, I'm good. All right, green flag in the air here at Phoenix. Exo got a horrendous start. Holy cow. I'm not going to allow last year's uh, Phoenix winner, Jeremy Frey, to come up to second. Hopefully they don't die on lap one. I don't know how much I'll talk. I'm kind of battling allergies. All good. Jeremy Ferry to the inside. Going to try to lead lap one of the 2024 Phoenix Smoss race. Not sure if he got it or not. Let me check the standings. Uh, yep. Uh, and he did not get it. Uh, Thunder 24 fan got it. But here comes Jeremy Ferry at love, the bottom. I love that Jimmy John's paint scheme who's trying to sneak into the lead. Silas and Wilmot. Oh, almost got turned there. The 0 6 is Zigzagoon. Game yellows are on, so if there is a wreck. Uh, oh, 51 sliding through the corner. That is for just inside the top 10. I still think Pocono has the greatest commentary ever. Yeah, some people. Uh, I might have got us on the FBI watch list, but oh well. Oh, whoa, oh, big crash in the back, 75. And I, that just reminded me, I forgot to change someone's paint scheme. You know, 75. Massive uh, wreck. Angie someone... Johnson, barrel uh, rolling. I also forgot I, to change their car. Shoot. I think someone's dead. Wow, massive wreck here at Phoenix on lap three. You know, someone someone bring out a stretcher. Yeah, let's go. Pace car, I don't know who's leading at that point. Sills Wilmot is going to take the lead. Uh, here at this point, but uh, we gotta see what happened there. And apologies to Azrael Jamar, I forgot to uh, change a car. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had it in the game, but I just did not switch it over when doing the roster before the race. So, Angie Johnson, oh my gosh, four wide off the corner, rookie Isaac Jacobs in the 33. Oh my gosh, what is what is TV2 got? I know TV1 doesn't quite give us the full view. Here's just that. We'll go um, spectator. Got. Let's go spectator. Slow motion. So 23 got on the 24. Getting their four wide. 
90 you got out of it. Yeah, Angie just came down. Got tight. Angie came down on the on that. Uh, I think the 23 it's... slid up and into, into her. Yeah, that would look right. And then just oh, on man. top of the car, the 70, the 75 yeah. is on top of the 24. And then just barrel rolling down the straight. Patatna and uh, Pace and Avery also involved. You do not expect to see a flip like that at Phoenix. Holy moly. I, I think... The, did he actually get landed on top of... That would be correct. You should show a cockpit footage of that. Angie? Uh, from, from 24. And it's going to be a wild ride. Well, I'm oh. in car. Yeah, we'll go in, in car cockpit just to be safe. Yeah, just barrel rolled down the street, and that's going to be the end of Angie's day, and quite possibly Azrael Dreamer. That, that is an awful crash for Angie Johnson, but back to live. Well, I'm actually going to pause it real quick, turn on our overtimes, just in case we need them. Long race ahead. A lot can happen. Back that to live. That was so violent, you could even see what type of tires the 75 put on before the race. Dang, that's true. He had stickers on them. Yep. Don't expect to see a wreck that bad on lap three, especially at Phoenix. I've uh, seen. Uh, I don't know. I remember that. I remember Texas. Texas had some bad wrecks. Texas was bad. Going green next time. Bye. Still, still not your leaders. Se uh, that's second and third place cars. Teammates, Wild Wolf Motorsports, third place right now. One. This race last season, I think Noah Clifton was also up here in the up front last season as well, if I remember correctly. I'm just going off memory at this point. But to no one's surprise, Angie Johnson out of the race. 75 actually still able to stay in it. And once again, apologies, I forgot to change the car file on that. They did change their paint scheme. Am I still Lightning McQueen? I don't think I changed it back. If I don't think I changed it back to the Dawn one yet, but yeah. All right, good. Probably won't change it unless you say something. No. Even then, I might forget. <laughs> Dude, I literally made a specific soundboard for it. Dang. Well, oh, anyways, about to go back green. Lap 7 of 78, the long one ahead of us. Oh, I just realized something. What a shocker. Jimmy Johns is leading at Phoenix. <laughs> Silas Wilmot takes the flag back green here at Phoenix. 98 of Axon Vittle didn't quite get as good as a jump. It's going to leave a gap between him and Zig Zagoon there. Between uh, the positions, I believe it's a uh, six, ooh, three ooh, wide already. Wide. Wow. Almost four. Thirty-two. Oh. Exo. Oh, big crash. Big crash in the back. I didn't quite see it. I was looking at the thing. That's going to put out another yellow. Big crash in the back. Oh big one God. here in Phoenix. Big, big crash. Still, still wrecking into the second corner. And Noah Clifton will, or not, uh, Jeremy Frey. Not going to defend that win from last season as both Waldwolf cars seem to have junked it off a of turn two. I think that was, there was actually two incidents. One in the correct. front for second and one behind them. Like let's directly go, behind them. Let's go helicopter. I can't really find a good camera angle at this track. So yeah, it looks like 32 got into the three and then yeah, just carnished them. Oh wait, I got a, I got a good camera. Oh, 21 also got right track. spun out. Uh, go, to, go to pit two. Might be one of the pit cameras. I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's actually got a decent angle. Holy cow! That's like the whole stretch. Yep. Then 21's involved. 93. They just plow in. Guarant yeah, you see cars popping in because of the drawing distance, and then XTV2 three plows in. Isaac Jacobs, he's done. Williams. 
Squadron Ped, Ozkin, your points leader involved, but doesn't look like very heavily. Gorse, Terror, and we'll see what happens. We'll get an idea what happened here with Pox. Yeah, I think he got spun off the corner as well. He was he's having a, he was having a decent run as well. He was Top airborne. ten. Ah, oh, that's correct. Yeah, he was airborne. We were talking about Alex Noodle oh. being slow, and then 85 got in the wall off of that. So yeah, it was correct. We had an incident for a second, but then this happened. Yep. No, that was the 94 got up and went down after hitting the car on the outside. Oh yeah, and two strays why Pox went airborne there and then just plowed in. Massive wreck. I wonder if some of these cars are still in the race. Uh, looks like Pox is done for the day. Dude, this is like Arca. Sadly, sadly enough, this race is, yes. I remember right, I think, uh... I actually can't remember right, but... Eh, sometimes you get some good races, sometimes you don't. Where is points leader Samet Ozkin? Uh, he is... I can see him right there, he's about the 20-something car in line. I just like this camera angle for some reason, so I'm gonna stick with it for a second. Bit lane 2 is actually my favorite camera angle on this track, though. Eh, yeah, I think we can get a good camera, camera angle and see most of the wrecks that have happened. No, but, like, if you watch, watch him go full speed coming out of that corner, trust me. Probably, yeah. Concern is now is just hopefully they make it that we don't have a big wad of wrecks start happening. That would suck. A lot of cars coming down a pit road, but let's go ahead and take a look at the DNF list as it has grown big time. So, Angie Johnson obviously out of that first wreck. Pox Cozart, Tufty Terror, Noah Clifton, Isaac Jacobs in their second race. Um, Brian Webb. And then you got Kyler Schuster, defending winner Jeremy Frey. He's down for the day. Chef Squid, who is uh, unfortunately going to stay last in the standings. Or Isaac Jacobs, who just made the second race. So obviously, he's going to be last. But Chef Squid not making any gains on points. And then Riley Gore is also involved in that accident. So, But he's still in the race. So 31 cars still in it. And it's only a lap 11 out of 78. So... Oh boy. <laughs> Looking like Pocono all over again. Except Pocono, I think we at least made it... Or except this race, I think we made it at least three laps. And then lap four, we had Angie and Asriel Jr. I'm amazed that 75 is still in the race after being on top of another car. That's impressive. But uh, let's go back to... The leaders here, I believe. Wilmot still leading? Yes. Um, we are going green this time as well. Going green lap 13. Wilmot leads the field. Exo in second. Then you got Zagoon, Zig Zagoon, 83. Has some damage from that wreck. Alex Tanker. And then Brock Nelson. Green flag back out in the air. Hopefully we don't have any issues from here. And, um... At this point, wouldn't be surprised if we have to see DQ some cars for, or, well, I'd say DQ, but manually DNF some cars for just being too far off pace. And we'll just take a look at that if we get a green rug going. Again, if we get a green flag rug going. You can tell that damage on the 83 did not help them. They did not have a good start there, and they're also, also already have lost, well, they're actually won only one spot, but... Figuratively two, since Brock Nelson's about to get around him. At 94, took advantage of it. Three wide, 83. Keep an eye out for them. Make sure they're doing okay here. We stay green. So hopefully, um, they get a little bit spread out where we don't have any more X. And the 45 of Ian Styles, Engine failure for the 45 team. Pit lane two. You see the 45 in pit road there with an engine issue. Potential failure there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Alright, that's all. TV1. Sorry. Let's take a look at any cars falling back. Um, 16. Uh...
Huh. They have to have some kind of pace at least. Not really know exactly how we'll gauge it for sure, but if I remember correctly, they uh, hit the 75 head-on. Possibly. <sighs> really hard to say for this uh, 16. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I. I'll give them another one. If they uh, are worse personally, than... Personally, thir I don't see an issue with lap traffic. Let's see. For him, I'll give him... If he's worse than 13 this time, then we'll have to axe him. Yeah, yeah, he's really off. Quadruped's decently there, but... Like, the thing is, if there, there's a certain pace to where, like, if they're going to get caught by the leaders, it's going to be a problem. I don't want to get any complaints from people for that, so I'll have to. Lap traffic is have to part of real life racing, though. Oh, well, there's lap traffic, and then there's cars that are two seconds off pace. <laughs> They're not the same. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be a little lenient on everyone else because I don't want to be. I don't want to cut off too much more of the field. Cars. I'm sorry. Can you blue flag cars? Uh, unfortunately, no. Back to the lead. I believe it's still Silas Wilmot in the lead. Isn't that Silas? Could be. Oh, second place let up there. Yep, that's gonna Got a little bit loose. cut some time. And uh, I think you're right. The the Jimmy John's uh, success trail at this track appears to be uh, the case right now with Silas Wilmot or I, I still don't know sure how to pronounce that are you sure that's not secretly Kevin Harvick <laughs> could be could be but Zig Zagoon versus Alex Tinker right now each got two wins last season surprisingly but none of them have met uh, a win yet this season and neither of them are in the top 20 in standings Actually, unless I seen the 94 in there and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no, 94 is like 30, 31st in standings and the 06 is like 22nd. This is 06 is the worst season I've seen in a hot minute. They've usually had good speed. Salamander Incorporated has usually had good speed in this series. I'm getting PTSD with that car in second also. <laughs> I'm just saying, those first and second cars look like that Harvick and Edwards finish. That is true. I'm surprised you wouldn't have said Kenseth, because uh, that's kind of what it's based on, but teammate, yeah, will know. Yeah, Kenseth, Kenseth didn't have a full finish with that way of Harvick. Nope. And it kind of looks like Edwards is DeWalt scheme, or Stanley, sorry. Could be. Well, we've got the craziness out the way. At this point, I think it's safe to assume that all the cars on the track are on pace enough to not be a hazard, uh, per se, but they may, they'll may they probably be a factor in terms of lap traffic before this thing's said and done. The 98-48-23, to be specific, are probably going to get caught up here before too long if we stay green. Probably around the halfway point. It's almost 80 lap race, so lap 37 or 38 or something will probably be halfway. Maybe even 36. But yeah, they're spread out now. Typical just driving. <laughs> Chain a few passes in the back. I think the 46 versus the. Um, 99 there, Potato Boy. I'll tell you what, them K and K cars have had very decent pace this season. Have just had no luck to show for it. That goes for Cup and Smos. Very unfortunate. Craig yep. Pockers. Yeah, Craig Pockers. Yeah, he ended up winning Daytona. Hasn't really shown anything since, but hey, win Daytona is cool. That's realism. All things considered, still top 20 in standing. So I guess not a bad season so far. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, that's realism on Lester William Byron.
You know, the only driver right now I'd consider possibly a favorite for the championship with two wins this season is Sam Oskin. Still in it, running top 20. I think he's guaranteed to keep the points lead after this, regardless of how it ends. However, we'll talk about that gap between him and Exo, and Exo currently has the advantage. Exo's running top 10. And Exo really had a big run of just top fives and top fours at the start of the season. Lost a little bit of that momentum, but they are going to try to get their sixth top ten today in just ten races, uh, which kind of impressive if you think about it. You're talking about Exo, and if you look right behind him, that's the guy who's one point behind him. Uh, at the 66, so that's also going to be interesting for the battle. Uh, now, if that stays away as they're getting passed by Brandon Nelson and David Don right now. Uh, Noble you. May have used up stuff, who knows, but you know that makes the gap a little bit bigger between them. Is that dude sponsor spam? I have no idea to be real with you. Uh, yeah, it looks like on the rear end. I did not make that car. Gee, I wonder how I can tell. Is it like a car you'd see BJ McLeod drive? Yeah, That's I would not say. That's an insult, though. Yeah, I would say we do have a couple of sponsored cars, uh, but yeah, 25 is still running. It's going to be one of those cars that probably end up getting the lap down. No surprise. They've had some decent pace this season, though. 25 cars, so I wouldn't sleep on them. Look, I'm st There's a, is that a bush car behind them? Yes, yeah, so it's a double zero. as quadruped about to get a lap down here in a, probably a lap or two. But bringing Zolas, uh had I'm a really good waiting. run last season. I'm just waiting for Bush to release a watermelon flavor. Be an interesting day if that happens. They can't not. Anyways, 23 about to go lap down here. Hopefully this don't affect Silas Wilmot's uh, lead right now. He's going to dive it in a little deep just to make sure you don't get pinned. I was going to slow him down. Just He's going to dive in to make sure you don't get pinned, which is the worst way to end up getting uh, behind a lap car. That, for the most part, stays out the way. Very no, respectable. The worst, the worst way of getting behind a lap car is if the lap car cuts you off entering the corner and spins in front of you. <laughs> well, I think the worst thing there is that the lap car ends up wrecking you. <laughs> that too. Uh, I think we almost had a battle for the lead. I think uh, first and battle. second might have made some contact if you rewinded like 10 seconds. Well, Eric got a battle for second Kirkin right now and also a battle for, I think that's eighth in the back. Alex Tinker, I think right now might be able to clear that 0-6 as we got uh, Eric Monaco about to go lap down, but you know, as you've seen that 23 go lap down and then Chef Squid not being in the race. Rick, Wick Rare Racing has had an awful run this season here in Smoss. You have trouble every time you say that, don't you? I do. Matthew Hill in the 90 also going to try to take advantage of that 06. He is sponsored by the Jacksonville Jaguars, which reminds me that the NFL draft will be on this Thursday. Dang, he's going to try to go for a second here from Tanker. This is going to help the 88 take a little bit of a pull away here now. That's an advantage seeing there's a lap car coming here soon. Just a little bit of sponsor advertisement there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's ran this car since day one. 2021 is when Ooh. it debuted, and he's ran the same scheme since. He almost cleared himself there. Yep, that, that um, fortunately, was <laughs> go to show for his first three seasons. I think this There's is the fourth no season. Graphic. Yeah, uh, Eric Monaco. Doesn't look he's got, like he's going to be an issue for Wilmot. Eric Monaco, what place is Monaco in? Uh, let's see. Monaco in 28th, so... Well, that's not that good, considering he is 4th in points. Definitely not. And, you know, Jeremy Frey, who is, you know, uh, right behind him. Behind him. Yeah, he's, he got out. He got DNF in that wreck, and this is his best track, Jeremy Frey, so he definitely did not need this. Uh, but uh, lap traffic is starting to become more heavy now. That battle for... saying there's a good chance for me to make up some spots. You're looking pretty good for it. 
Well, no, duh, I'm Lightning McQueen. <laughs> but, yeah, Lap Draft, obviously a big pain right now for a lot of guys, but Wilmot has so far gone through most of that pretty well. Matthew Hill looks to have taken second. I, I'm being dead real. I think the top three are just juking it out right now, and I wouldn't even call it... Uh, Say uh, Brandon Nelson or Brock Nelson's out of it. Oh, it's 54. I meant to go to the. What was the car I wanted to go? 50, 51. Said Brock Nelson. Yeah. Cooper yeah. coming up here as well. Cooper's had really good speed, just nothing to show for it. None of the K and K cars, despite their very good speed, all of them are right next to each other in standings, right in 35th, 36th, and 37th in standings. I think it's clear who the fastest car here today is. Though. Yeah, that 88, then that they have, they have the car. I guess you could say that they are freaky fast. I'll go shoot myself now. <laughs> I'm off to check their ratings after this one, make sure I didn't make, make a mistake. <laughs> Granted, their men will stand either way. <laughs> I feel bad from that pun. Oh well. Talking about Exo oh, there. Car really low entering that corner. Yeah, the, I'm. I don't know if what the 98, what the plan was there, but the five, the 98, kind of figuring out what part of the track they were going to get around him on. Obviously, a 98 going to lap down has damage, but that's something nonetheless. I think the 51 has gotten around the 94, and the 30 also going to try to get around that 94 car. Skyler Taylor, your Vegas winner, may also try to come up here and do something. Did you say Tyler Taylor? No, I said Skyler Taylor. I, I almost... I almost uh, said Skyler Tyler when I when I first had him signed up. They were like, oh wait, is that Skyler Tyler? <laughs> is that a he or a she? Not sure. Well, is their name Skyler White, yo? I'm not sure of that either. Her husband, Walter White, yo? I just know this. They do get a little bit of front end damage as well from that lap 11 or lap 10 wreck. Come on, Breaking Bad references are the bomb. Again, it looks like this is this top. Well, it was the 06 and the 90, but it looks like the 30, 94, and 51 now. Just kind of juking it out right now for position. This is 4th and 5th they're battling for, and don't count Skylar Taylor either, but the 32, they got some rear end damage. Or no, I guess not. I don't know. It looked like they had some rear end damage. I don't know. I mean, just perspective. They got a good car, actually. Running really where they've been all day. Yeah, this battle for, uh, looks like 30's pulled away a little bit for 5th, I right. think, at this point. Yep. Hell, but it looks like 2nd place might be slowly gaining on the leader. <laughs> I'd be surprised seeing this 88 was really just, oh, that's the wrong car. But the 88 has just been fast, to <laughs> put it simply. Well, uh, who has fast lap? Let's take a look. Brock Nelson. Interesting. Take a look at the last lap time from the 06, see if it's any quicker. So that's 26.5 is their last lap. Oh yeah, they're actually catching 88. Holy cow. Um, then a 26.6 versus the 26.5. Look at chat. Oh, it looks like the 37 having some issues. Up to the game if it wants to throw a yellow for that. I think they only throw it if he can't make it to pit road. They might not. And no, uh, looks Mine's like they good. could. Unfortunately for the 37, they were... <laughs> Man, that's just rough. I don't really know what to say. What's, what's their name? Genghis Khan. I believe he was running in 11th before that. So someone decided to get out of the history book and choose that. I could not tell you. And you unfortunately, know, 37 know is done for the day. You not know the game is called is. 
I don't know if we're gonna see a battle for the lead or not. But <coughs> sorry. You're good. But regardless, zero six is catching. And we do got some lap traffic coming. Looks like the other Nelson, Brain and Nelson. Looks like those those two have kind of been together the past few races and just where they've been running. Right now ninth. Listen, sometimes when there's no playoffs or no chase or anything, consistency is what you need. 100%. Just ask Matt Kenza. These two were battling here for a second, but it looks like Potato Boy now battling for, I believe that's 12th. Oh, with, I'm three wide. Yeah, with Ryan Cole, Craig Parker, and Potato Boy all battling for that spot. Is that a throwback? Yeah. I couldn't tell you who. I don't know, I think now might be a good time to go back to the leaders, though. Yeah. Well, it looks like, I think it might have been caught. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. Well, he's there. Question is, is he going to do anything? But I think the 88 may have secured most laps led at this point. We were, talking, we were sleeping on Zig Zagoon there for a minute. Same with Sills uh, Wilmot looking for their first win. Zig Zagoon. Split up a bit there. Yeah, Zig Zagoon looking to get some momentum going. They're not looking too good in the standings. At zero six. I mean, I say not looking too good, but you know, it's full season, full season uh, series. So uh, if you want to have a shot at the championship, better cook, better, better cook sooner than later. He might, Zig Zagoon might be waiting here for them to catch that bush car. Maybe use him as a pick. Maybe so. Most all this is happening, I, just, I think the 90 car's been catching a little bit too. They're going to catch him in the corner maybe, I don't know. Trying to see where they're going to catch him. Yeah, so 6 is trying to time when they're going to make the move on the 88. Oh. 88 moved a little too quick. They're anticipating they're going to catch the double zero sooner. That may have helped the 96 gain some time. Uh, or I say 96, 06. If so, not much. Now the 06 has to deal with the double zero. There's still another one in front of them, though. That's Caden couple. Williams. Oh, he's there. Oh, yeah. he's there. There he is. He's going to make be able to make the move on the bottom. You can send it in there. Zigzagoon sends it deep. If he can get the lap led, at least he'll get something different for this. He will. Now, now if they battle this out, do not count out the 90 car. Yeah, that 90 car is also coming. As they're battling, that 90 is catching him. And Zigzagoon is going to take the lead. With 20 laps to go this time around. But yeah, he won twice last season. In this season, looking to get another win. The 88, I don't know if they're done or not, but... He has zero wins this season. Yep. 23 going on another lap down. Oh, they're side by side in front of them. I don't think it's going to last long. 23 is a little bit more off pace than the 25 is. Yeah, they're already single filed out. question now is, that 23 is a lot more off pace than the 25 is... Uh, Move gonna be easy, looks like it. Oh Not Wilmot, Wilmot, speed, Wilmot! Dude. Oh that was way close for comfort there. Uh, well, that might have just given the 06 the win. Might have. That'd definitely help the 90 catch up though. It almost wrecked it off the 23, that would have been devastating. He almost wrecked the 23. Yeah. Oh, almost another wreck back there. Yeah, 30 of Cooper. Been sleeping on him, too. He's running top five right now. If he does finish this thing top five, I believe it's his first top five of the season. First top ten as well. I'll tell you what, he's definitely had the speed to show for it. Just hasn't had the finishes. 88 just got clear of the 25 there.
This is getting pretty intense towards the end of the race. Yeah, past the lead with 20 to go. Great. Some of these races are only 20 laps. This one's 78. I think that was a pretty good length decision. Yeah, I think so too. Had a couple of wrecks at the start, but I don't know. I think it's been good so far. Well, every time I've had a race with this track, normally it, you have to get like a couple of the cars out of the way to get good racing. Yeah, that is true. I don't know why, I can't tell you. Yeah, that's just how NR is. It's an old game, it has its quirks. Uh, quite, I don't know if you can catch that, catch him back down now though. Yeah. I don't know, it depends on if he has the speed. Well, we've seen he has the speed, I just don't know if he has the stuff. Yeah, that's true. That's how the 06 probably got around him. 88 might have used up their stuff. <laughs> Zero 06 was able to, to profit. We'll see if that tra if that uh gonna stay the same here in these last uh, however many laps we got left. I think he's gaining a small amount, maybe. I don't know. I'll keep a little standings like board here. I know we got the ticker, but we'll take a look at this too. Fast lap hasn't changed either. Same run of tires. I don't expect the laps to get any quicker. 28 cars still running, 23 is two laps down, and the first car one lap down is a 25 of Kid Williams. About half a second separating first through fifth, depending on how you look at it. Yeah, I don't know how I look at where they're half well, a second. You have, I mean, you got half a second basically from first to second, and then from second to third, and then from... Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. And then from 4th to 5th, that's what I meant. So they're fairly evenly gapped. Pretty much. I wouldn't say that 88's I'm... quite gaining, really. Silas lost a bit of time there. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's losing some time. Next car to go left that's... down, 58 Melinda Jones. Or no, uh, it's gonna be uh, ally. Yeah, the 48 Eric Monaco gonna go two laps down. Next car. Yeah, I think he might be falling off a bit now. Yeah, I mean he was keeping up with him for a few laps there, but 10 laps to go now. It's uh, he's starting to fade. McQueen is fading, fading fast. Question now is, does Matthew Hill have anything at all? Because he gained the slightest bit that last time on the leader. 90 car did. We're in the end game now. Yeah. 06 goes way low to just make sure they get around that 48 as quick as they can. You mentioned the 90 car gained a bit on the leader. The problem is, I, if he, he can gain only once, I just don't think he has enough time. That is true. Not to mention they have a lap car in between them now, which that's not going to help him at all. I think uh, Zig Zagoon might actually have this one unless we get a caution come out. Don't want to have a commentary curse. <laughs> yeah, another thing to note is we do have overtime, so if it comes out with lap 77 or lap 76 or anything like that, we will have overtime. But if it happens on the last lap, ain't nothing changing. He's still racing back. Unless the reader gets wrecked in the last lap crack, that, that would suck. <laughs> what, with a lap car? Yeah, that would be the worst. It'll be like Jimmy Johnson at the stage at Darlington. Except, you know, worse. That was heartbreaking. And now what was heartbreaking was Jimmy Johnson at the Roval. Yep. And then the rest of his career. Well, I think it's safe to say at this point, Zero Six is pulling away from both cars now. That 98 car about to go second lap down. Alex and Vidal. No changes in the top 10 in the past few laps, so I 
Don't know for how many changes there. Yeah, he's gonna get by him right here. Yeah, he, he wants to make sure he gets around these lap cars as soon as he can. He does not want to get held up at all. And I don't blame him. That dirty air is no good. However, I would not sleep on that 90 car try to get second before this thing's said and done. Yeah, he's right from here. He, he, he actually might get to go for it here. I don't know. I haven't seen him go for it in the front straight, but hey, who knows. The problem with Matthew Hill is every time he seems to be able to get to the Silas, uh, there seems to be a lap car getting in the way all the time. That is true. This being one of those times. <laughs> that may be all she wrote at this point. He'd been working on him for quite a few laps. We're coming to two to go this time by. Or wait, no. Yeah, is that stuck. right? No, no, no. It's three to go this time by. Three to go. That might be right, too. <laughs> Math's not mathing. 77 is two three. to go. Because 76 to 79 is four. Yeah, this is three to go. Three to go. Yep, two to go this time around. But will not get most laps less. Ten point bonus for him. He's really not gonna lose too much in terms for Wilmot. Coming to the white flag here at Phoenix. And Zigzagoon. Won two races last season. Comebacks this season with uh Salamander Incorporated with a switch to Ford. Back to Ford, I should say. So we're with Ford in 2021. Got around the 88 late in the race. Avoided all the calamity in the beginning. We'll have well, almost a 8 tenths of a second lead coming to the finish. Uh, and Zig Zagoon is going to win here at Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, what a win. We thought the 88 pretty much had it won the whole race until uh, I guess Zigzagoon maybe managed his tires better or something. Yeah. And if you look at the settings, I mean, you could say to yourself if you're Zigzagoon that this has not been a good season for us, but with about 14 races remaining, you got one win, this could be a complete confidence boost. 100%, not yeah. Too, it's not too late to flip your season around. Yeah, especially for Zigzagoon. Granted, they're 123 back, but they're now a lot closer with this win than they were before, so if they can, they can close that gap a little bit and maybe get some good runs going. I don't know where they're racing next race, but hopefully uh, if all things go well, all things go well. Oh, you got any final thoughts before I end the broadcast? Uh, it was a lot better than I was expecting. Yeah, I mean the first few laps did not look very promising, but towards the end I had a decent long run and pass the win and some decent passing and just overall race of attrition. I think it went pretty good. Oh, um, thank you all for watching. We're going to see you in probably the next cup race. Um, uploads. Well, you, uh, I stream Wednesday nights now. It's the new thing I'm doing. So I'm streaming Wednesday night. It's at... I think 9 Central, 10 Eastern, I could be wrong, I, whatever time, in that, that time of day is when you start looking around for the stream, so I'm going to start streaming every Wednesday, just keep it consistent, just um, usually do a set of course, but every once in a while I might do something different, so yeah. But anyways, thanks for watching, we'll see you all next race.